Hello, my name is Paul Iroye. Today I am going to be teaching you how to construct the special letters. That will be the narrow letter, which is letter I, and the wide letters, which are letter W and letter M. Letter W, letter M, and letter I. We are going to be constructing the special letters which are the narrow letter and the wide letters. So there is only one narrow letter which is letter I and there are two wide letters which are letter W and letter M. As usual we are going to be using pencil, ruler and eraser. These will be the materials for today. Now as I told you also, I'm using the edges of my paper to guide me so that I can get a really straight line. For each space, I'm using two centimeters. Now this is dependent on how big you want your letters to be. If you want your letters smaller, then you use maybe one centimeter or even something smaller. If you want your letters bigger, then probably you can even use four centimeters for one space. So the idea of uh, three by five, I'm trying to recap on what we did in the last uh, video. Three is the width of the normal letters and 5 is the height of all the letters so all the letters we have the height of 5 spaces in the grid and in this situation today letter i will have 1 by 5 1 is the width 5 is the height letter w is going to have 5 by 5 width and height of it right and letter m now i've seen places where some people use five by five for letter m but today i am going to be using four by five which means that the height is going to be five just like other letters and the width of the letter is going to be four so follow my construction the first thing is get your grid lines right get your grid lines ready you can even use a, a graph paper as a starter but the, the reality is that when you need to construct for certain things like maybe you want to produce a stencil a paper may not be the best because it's quite soft for you to dab on when you need a stencil but it's a good starting point to learn because the, the grid I'm trying to construct now are already on the graph paper. And as I said in the previous video, measurement is very important in this thing and also the idea of using ruler for straight lines. So now I'm going to put my grid down. So this is one space and this is the base of it and I connect this together. For letter I, as I said, it's just so simple, it's actually the easiest letter and I'm just having it now. This is my letter I. I've seen instances where people would hurt the People would add the extensions I don't need I don't think it's necessary so this is my letter I now I'm going to do the letter W for you I want to leave just a space of one centimeter because I want to use I want to be able to have more space on my paper so I'm leaving just a space of one centimeter between these two letters so my letter W is going to start from here. Okay. Now 
Now, don't forget what I said. The letter W, the measurement for that is five spaces by five spaces. Five by five. And so this is the space. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now watch the angles and the corners where I am going to put my ruler. I'm picking my first line from this first line, the top angle, and drawing it to the lower base, I mean to the base of the second line. To make it easier, let's go this way so that you can start seeing it from the outset. So, this is my W coming out. Alright, so I'm going to close this part, the lower part, and also the upper part. So I need my eraser now. And you can see the W coming out. If I want to color this with color pencil now, the shape of the W is what I need to color. That is letter W. I can do the same thing. Rub off the lines inside the letter I. And I have my I and W. Okay? So the next one I'm going to do is letter M, letter M. So I've got here the space I'm using for my letter M. As usual, this is one, two, three, four, five. And this is going to be one, two, three, four. All right? So this is how we go about it. Don't forget I said earlier that some people actually use five spaces instead of four as the width for the letter M. But for this lesson, I will be using four spaces. You need to really observe to get it right. So, if you look very well, the, the, the form, the shape of letter M is there already. All I need to do is close the bottom space and then the upper page, the, the upper space by just darkening my pencil, putting a little more pressure on the pencil to make the pencil mark darker. So I have my letter M. How do I bring it out? Rub off. 
Rob off. Rub off gently all the lines you don't need. So today we've been able to construct letter I, letter W and letter M, all of them in block letters. Thank you so much again for watching my video today. My name once again is Paul Iroye, your basic arts teacher.